Hi, it's Michael Lynn from Next Step Agency, and I'm here to do part two of our video series on the Motor Genie tester from All Test. Now, the Motor Genie, we went through our first video and tested on our test motor. That was all set to good, and everything tested well. Now, this tester motor, you can get it from All Test, and you can actually select faults in here, like uh, resistance and balance, 8 mega ohm to ground, or 0 mega ohm to ground or shorted winding. So what we're gonna test, we're gonna test the uh, eight mega ohm and zero mega ohm to ground insulation issues, because that's kind of what the competition can do in terms of like the mega meter. That's what it tests. Uh, but the shorted winding, we're gonna do that with a full battery test on it. So you'll see the difference between that and the competition. Okay, so we're back. We're gonna demonstrate a couple faults with the Motor Genie in this video. So, First thing I'm going to do is we're going to do a ground fault. Uh, let's go 8 mega ohm to ground. So this is what a, a mega would pick up. So just to demonstrate that it can do it. We'll go the insulation test. And... I'm just going to take off black. And yep, we have eight mega ohms to ground. So not passing. We'll go back to the main menu. We can go zero mega ohm to ground. This is a test motor from all test, so that's been modified to put these faults in. And there we go, we've got zero. Whereas, if this is a perfectly working motor, like now it's selected to be, we have over 500. Nice and easy. That's it, doing the mega ohm testing. Now we're going to go through, we're going to do the full battery of tests, but we're going to do it with, uh, let's go for a shorted winding. So we select that right there. So I'm going to start this and I'm going to start up the Motor Genie app. Now, start off on phase one, two. Oh, add new test. Phase one, two. So we're getting the impedance first. That's one, one, three. And then phase one, three, one, one, two, and phase two, three, one, two, six. Now, if I go off there, it's giving me a warning there. That is a very big difference there. But let's see what else we have here. Phase angle is 40. We'll go back to one three. We have phase angle fifty seven. I'll go to one two and phase angle fifty seven. And I get another warning on there in red. Okay. Oh, you know what? I didn't go to the IF here. So let's get that right now. We're on one two. IF is Minus 35. On 1, 3, minus 35. And on 2, 3, minus 25. Another big red warning. This isn't looking great. Now we can do the phase balance. We're going to go back to, I'm going to go back to one, two, Let me move the meter over just a little bit. So I got 115 here, that's the highest there. 
So let's go over to one three. One sixteen on one three, and let's go two three. One twenty seven. That is a very different number. So we'll go one twenty three, and we'll use that as our zero. So we'll put that as our zero there on the phase balance, and we'll test the other phases. So we'll go back to one two. We put our highest number down, which is, so our highest number is 22. So we put that down in here. We'll go to one, three. And we have 20. That's another number that doesn't look good. Well, Not looking good so far. We'll head back to the main menu. We didn't do our insulation test, so we'll do that now. 500, so it does pass the insulation test. That's green. Test frequency was already set. We'll go and do the resistance test. Connect the red and black leads. Like that. We're zeroing the test. Connect leads to motor. So we're going to go red black on here. We'll go one three first. Measuring two four point nine. Okay, we'll go one two. Two four point seven, and we'll go two three. And we get twenty five. So that passes on the resistance. <coughs> well, I'm going to go down here. We're going to press the test button. Oh, motor ID. Okay, so I'm going to put in the motor part number here. And I'm labeling this separately as F. Let's see, this is F3. So this is the shorted winding. So test. Shorted winding, phase unbalance. And that's exactly what we should be testing for here. So we can save it and we can generate a PDF and email. So we have these results right here with our numbers being highlighted in red and yellow flagging these issues. And if you remember, this is the same motor as before. So this is just this specific failure here switched on. And that is our process for finding faults with the Motor Genie. Quick, simple, and now I can click email, it would open up the email client. This is an old phone, so it's not quite set up for that. And I could send it off. Nice, simple, done. So now we're all done. Just gonna power off. And then you can just take the cords out, pack it away in your case. And on to the next one. And that's it. If you have any questions, be sure to check out our website at www.thenextstepagency.com or email us sales at thenextstepagency.com. You can also check out our subscribe button here on the right or another video on the left. Thank you. Have a great day.